Hi friends, on this video I am going to show you how to install the oil cooler on TVS Apache RTR. Yes, you can install the oil cooler on the 160cc and 180cc and even I think we can install the oil cooler on 150cc but it is not necessary. Yes, you guys may ask how to install it. Uh, uh, does it have the provisions for the inlet and the outlet pipe? Yes, it, uh, you guys may ask does it have the uh, provisions for the inlet and the outlet pipe? Yes, it has the provisions for the inlet to, uh, and the outlet pipe because Apache's engine is the reboot version of Suzuki's Piero's engine. So, Suzuki Piero has the inlet and the outlet provisions for the oil cooler, but it doesn't have the oil cooler. So, since uh, Apache's engine is the reboot version of Suzuki's Piero, it also have the provisions for the inlet and the outlet pipe for the oil cooler. So, I'm going to use uh, use those provisions to install the oil cooler. Uh, for the oil cooler parts, I am going to use the 200s oil cooler uh, from the TVS service center. I have ordered the oil cooler and its inlet and the outlet pipe. I have just ordered only the three parts oil cooler and the inlet pipe and the outlet pipe. It is necessary for uh, for the installation. Here you can see the hose I have used to connect the banjo bolts. Uh, I will later tell you what is banjo bolts. Uh, here you can see the hose uh, that I have used to connect the banjo bolts and the oil coolers inlet and the outlet pipes. Uh, this pipe is from this hose is made of uh, manufactured with uh, three layers. Uh, it has the inner layer, uh, inner layer to the oil flow, and ne and the next one is is the fiber strips layer, uh, which is for the strength, uh, which is for provided for the strength, and the third layer is the made of uh, thick rubber which is uh, provided for the weather resistance uh, uh, here uh, you can see that uh, I have cut out the inlet pipe I have cut out the extension of the inlet pipe and uh, inserted the hose uh, and crimped it with the stainless steel bearing Stain stainless steel bearing uh, to insert the pipe to insert the hose you need to first you need to heat the hose and you need to apply some oil to insert it uh, the diameter of the hose is uh, 8 mm so it will perfectly fix into the tube uh, here you can see the extension i have cut off uh, you need to cut this extension it is not necessary i have done the same procedure for the inlet and the outlet, outlet pipe uh, i have heated the hose uh, you don't have to heat the metal tube you have to heat the hose and apply some oil and just gently push it into the metal tube after inserting crimp it with the stainless steel washer uh, stainless steel washer uh, I have seen it in the vulcanizing shops which are used to avoid the air leakage so I decided to use this and these are the extensions of the inlet and the outlet pipe which are cut off from the and finally here you can see the radiator setup I have made this is the TVS Apache's uh, 200 radiator and its inlet and outlet pipe uh, in between the inlet and the outlet pipe, I have inserted the rubber tube for the sealant to avoid the oil leak. So you need to consider that. You can get the rubber from the vulcanizing shops. Uh, you need to ask them for the waste uh, inner rubber tube. Uh, so it will be perfectly works to seal the oil leakages. Uh, so it prevent the oil leakages from the in between the connections. Uh, and here you can see the extension for the inlet and the outlet pipe uh, uh, and these are the extensions uh, you can see um, these are only designed for the designed to fit at the Apache's 200 so it is not fit for the 180 and 160 cc so it's not necessary so that's why I have cut out the extensions uh, you need to cut it using a cutting tool um, please be safe uh, while cutting it uh, also I need to say that on the uh, on some 200 apaches uh, they are facing uh, issues with the inlet and the outlet pipe but these uh, rubber tube extensions or uh, rubber tube connectors uh, at the high revs and the high speeds uh, they say is that uh, there will be an oil leakage at this uh, at these connections uh, near the rubber tube so TVA should have to consider this issue and try to resolve this problem and trying to resolve this problem I think so they will work on it after inserting the hose into the metal tube and crimping it with the stainless steel washer if you are not satisfied you can apply the bonding agent like uh, Fifi Quick 
in between the metal tube and the hose uh, to avoid the oil leakage at the future if you are not satisfied with it if you are not satisfied with the stainless steel bearings uh, it is just an additional here you can see i have installed the uh, fixed the oil cooler on the tvs apache's uh, frame for fixing this you need to remove your tank to work on easily with this here you can see i have bought uh, two set of nuts and bolts and two set of spring washers and two set of uh, normal washers uh, you need to use the spring washer to compress the uh, to compress the nuts against the bolts uh, so it will be fixed perfectly and you can also use uh, two two set of nuts for the each bolt uh, to avoid uh, slipping away of a uh, nut during the high revs and the high speeds uh, uh, because you uh, all our tier brothers knows that uh, TVS vibrates a lot so you need to use two set of nuts uh, for each bolt uh, if you are not satisfied with the nuts and bolts you can use a metal plate uh, to weld it together at the frame and you need to buy a bolt uh, which is lengthier than our finger uh, i don't know i don't know the size um, yeah, even the shops guys uh, don't know the size i just ask for a nuts and bolt set uh, which is uh, larger than my fingers so here you can see that i have finally installed the complete setup of the oil cooler on my rtr uh, sorry for the tank covers uh, rope uh, this is where the inlet pipe coming through and here you can see the here you can see the rubber sealant i have mentioned before on this video um, I will give you a close-up view on the. I will, I will give you a close-up view on the outlet pipe, uh, and this is the. This is how the. This is how the rubber sealant should have to be look like, uh, and these are the connecting bearings, uh, crimping bearings, uh, and here you can see the inlet pipe coming through. The inlet pipe is. Uh, the inlet pipe is going through the engine's head and it is connected to the provision for the inlet the provision the inlet provision is connected with the connected in the way of uh, it is uh, casted in the way of uh, gears uh, gear oil traveling gear oil traveling path uh, so when the gear pump operates it pump the oil through the inlet provision so it, so you have to consider about that uh, and this is the 10 mm banjo bolt set uh, you need to buy a 10 mm banjo bolt set for the both inlet and the outlet pipe uh, yeah, also you need to buy the washers uh, you need to buy the washers uh, for it uh, and this is where the outlet pipe goes through you need to use the tack pin to avoid uh, touching the hoses on the silencer pipe it doesn't have to touch the uh, silencer pipe uh, you need to consider that uh, for uh, to avoid touching it i have used the tack pin and the uh, outlet pipe is uh, goes to the gear oil sump area here where the cold oil will be collected uh, um, this is also the same as the 10 mm banjo bolts for as well as like the inlet pipe uh, you need to buy a 10 mm banjo bolt set and you need to use two washers uh, here i have used the three washers uh, uh, in between the banjo bolt and the and the banjo i have used one washer and in between the engine casting and the banjo bolt i have used uh, three washers uh, uh, so you need to buy three washers uh, to avoid the oil leakage if you are using a single if you are using two washers it will be not worthy and it will lead to oil leakage so i have used three washers uh, and you need to consider that the whole casting is made of aluminium so be gentle with it uh, if you have messed up and uh, i'm not uh, responsible for that uh, you need to you are uh, in a big trouble so you need to consider that uh, please be gentle with that uh, after installing it you need to 
remove your old oil and um, you need to fill it up with a uh, 1.2 liters of oil and also if it is time to change your oil seal please you have to change it and what is my suggestion is uh, you need to change uh, both your oil and the oil strainer oil filter because it have lost a uh, lots of uh, dust and the uh, dust and the uh, uh, wear and tear of gear parts uh, so my better suggestion is you need to remove the oil and change the oil uh, for good performance you need to use uh, 10w40 I have made the oil color to be sit on sit it on the horn clamps uh, because the horn clamp is in the L shaped structure uh, L shaped structure so I made the uh, so I made the oil color to be sit it on the sit it out on the horn clamps uh, here you can see the horn clamps uh, uh, from where uh, I have placed the oil color uh, so it will be so it will provide a better uh, stability for the better uh, rigidity for the oil color so it won't uh, shake or it won't get loose uh, due to the high revs and the high speeds uh, uh, since i have removed my uh, clamp you can since i have removed my horn so you can clamp your horn on the bumper bolts uh, but i was once i was hit it uh, hit it at my bumper so i can't remove the bolt uh, if you are also hit by hit at the bumper you please uh, don't remove the bumper bolts uh, because it will lost its thread so the better uh, place to fix the horn is that number plate holder uh, here you can see that i have placed the horn on the number plate holder uh, for uh, the better view i will show you the place where i have uh, fixed the oil collar and you need to remove the engine cowl for the I have removed my engine coil for for the couple of days uh, to check if there is any oil leak in the banjo bolts or the inlet and the outlet portions uh, and also at the inlet and the outlet pipe uh, uh, for the uh, if you are not uh, for your satisfaction please uh, do remove the engine coil for the couple of days after the installation to check if there is any oil leak uh, so after the few days uh, after the check uh, you can fix fix back your engine coil to the to your bike mm, for the better view i have removed the engine coil to um, now let me show you the air flow through the oil cooler here uh, you can see that uh, during riding uh, the uh, air from the opposite side will flow through the flow in between the forks uh, front forks and it will directly hit the oil cooler uh, so it was the better push, uh, better place to fix the oil cooler uh, and its performance was good and its performance was uh, also too good and one more thing you need to do is you need to bend this uh, oil pipe holder uh, front uh, front brake oil pipe holder because uh, during turning it on the right side it will hit the radiator so you need to bend it slightly towards the fork that's all friends if there is any questions uh, please feel free to ask at the comment section and thanks for watching do like and share if you like my video thank you all have a safe ride